The greatest of all time, Rosalie won't get there, but what a run. G'day and welcome to another episode of Run, Jump, Chuck with Mossy and Robbo. And I tell you what, Robbo, episode eight, mate, uh, huge, huge things coming up this weekend with the Nationals, but last weekend the Melbourne IAAF World Challenge was insane. Always exciting when the IAAF circus rolls into town, Mossy. It just seemed to pick it up a little notch. I know the live stream quality was just that little bit more uh, professional, had that little bit of edge about it, but uh, mate, the, the performance is matched the uh, class of the event as well and let's just run them down from the from the top of the list run jump chuck well the run david rudisha the best in the world the greatest ever here he is in action and he's pushed all the way mossy as you see here risley and roe pushing him all the way to finish that's right all the talk's been about roe but risley just gritting that teeth and his little head going from side to side and he almost starts tracking him down can jeff risley get to him Radisha, the greatest of all time. Rosley won't get there, but what a run oh, from David that... Radisha. 144.97. And Jeff Risley, just for a moment there, we thought Risley could challenge the world record holder. Yeah, we can hear from Jeffrey now. Yeah, swinging into 100 a goal, I was a bit surprised how close he was because he normally really puts it on the line from sort of 250, 200 out and 150 and winds it up and Roe was right on him and I was right on Roe and I was thinking, all right, come on, you've got to swing out and with 60 to go, I gave myself a bit of a, a bit of a chance and then he just kind of went away a bit. So. so great to hear from Jeff Riley there. What about Rudisha? He's had a great trip over here a couple of weeks. He's done exactly what he wanted to do, a high 144 there, sets himself up for the season. I managed to have a quick chat with him after his race as well. Congratulations once again. You've come back to Melbourne and you've got the win tonight, but you were pushed all the way. Yeah, uh, it was another good uh, race here, you know. Um, just exactly what I was uh, looking for, you know, improving from uh, last race here in Sydney, you know, to 144. I think I'm happy because I'm getting my target. Very good. And you, you nailed what you wanted last week. You've done the same here as well. You, you're going to come back to Australia again? You, I know you enjoy starting your season out here. Well, I've always been liking, you know, Australia. And uh, every time uh, I'm starting my season and I'm good, in good shape, uh, without any problem, because the last two years I've been facing, you know, uh, challenges with the... Uh, Injury. So uh, every almost every time I've been coming here since 2010. And I read today in a newspaper article, Rudisha, the Kiswahili word for return. And we definitely hope you do return. And we'd like to present you with a little gift here to uh, <laughs> say thank you for coming out and visiting us. And wow. this is Jumpy, the kangaroo. Thank you and uh, we'd love you to take him back to Kenya. Wow, thank you. <laughs> right, there you go. Dave Rudisha, have a great rest of the season. All the best in Beijing, where we hope you can, you can go all the way and get that gold medal. Thank you very much. And Mossy, let's hope Jumpy has found a new home over there in Iten in Kenya. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Now, mate, uh, with a run, just a quick mention, Jess Gooley in the women's yes. 400 metres. Came from out of the screen from lane 8, the Jess Gooley lane, which is what it shall be known. Absolutely double thumbs up to you, Jess. It's an old trick. The old lane 8 uh, sneak in, and she, she uh, swamped them all, as Ollie Worm said that night. Mossy, another thing that caught my eye in the run, Vic Mitchell, we saw her last year crash and burn in the uh, in the water jump. Well, she didn't burn, she got very, very wet. This year, in preparation, she donned the goggles, and we can see here uh, she was prepared in case she dipped into the creek again. Absolutely. So you've got to be prepared. This year she's came prepared. And not only that, but she went the whole hog of speed up. Why not? They'll put lane ropes in next year, I reckon. Absolutely. Uh, good to see her with a bit of sense of humour, and she was sponsored by Nike. Currently, no sponsor, so she's wearing Speedos tonight. Now what about the jumps, mate? What uh, took your fancy down there? Very exciting. Alana Boyd, we know she's all class, but finally she's nailed that 4 uh, metres 50, we can she see here. Uh, initially she was a bit rattled, Mossy, by this event, uh, where she got uh, a bit of a interference bit of from the not, measuring tape. Oh, and it was pretty windy down there, and it's a trap for young players and uh, even Sorry, serious uh, seasoned campaigners as well. There. The measuring tape getting the in old, the way. Yeah, the old, she's been taped. But here we go. Alana Boyd finally getting over that 450. I think it was her third attempt as well. So nervous moments there, but she's got that qualifier. And all she needs to do now is win nationals, and she's on that bus 
to Beijing. So very exciting there for the Queensland. Absolutely. It has been a frustrating season. I've been making some changes and everything's been going well. I just haven't been able to put it together on the day. And today it was a little bit messy, but I got the job done, got the win and got the 450. So um, yeah, now on to nationals and hopefully I can go higher there. Yeah, plenty of action going out in the field. Probably had the greatest javelin lineup that I've ever seen in Australian athletics. It was a world-class field and it didn't fail to disappoint. Well, that's right. The national record almost went again by the current holder Kim Mickle, but she only Kim came Mickle second. Uh, she it's threw 66.57, and we can see here, big, big throw. Uh, Mossy, she you must have thought that when you were calling it that it was going to just drift over that record line. Well, I thought it was, but unfortunately we were at Melbourne so after all and everything. So we know uh, Kim likes to throw her head wing, but yeah, a little bit too strong there. Dipped down and uh, didn't quite get there, but a nice little bit of, uh, bit of javelin throwing out there. And look, thanks so much, Kim. We really appreciate what you did out there. We know South Africa weren't going to make it through to the cricket grand final, uh, yes. so she went there and gave Sunet the victory and that's just a really you know hat off to you. Very nice indeed and we had a chance to catch up with Kim after her comp. Oh, look coming second to a 66 metre throw is um, is okay I'm fine with that if I throw 66 at every comp and, and not win that's fine but uh, yeah when I saw it flying uh, I didn't hit it all that well either but it just kept going and I thought oh my god it's got to go as far as we, we had to duck for cover we thought we were going to get hit down here it would look so good. I'm trying to sort of train through this period uh, I had a few hiccups at the beginning part of it but now I'm, I'm back and ready to go and yeah Nashies will be lovely to get the, the tenor the double figure uh, national titles of ten and uh, then literally head down bum up again and get ready for the Diamond Leagues which just come around so quickly like it's like a blink and it's time again and, and Beijing I can't wait I haven't thrown the bird's nest before and I've been told that's a pretty epic place so I uh, can't wait for that one. Right, so that's what happened on the weekend, mate. Uh, what's the biggest thing in news uh, in athletics this week? Well, Mossy, this week, athletics and Olympics, well, we're counting down 500 days to go uh, until the Olympics, but uh, 532, 531 days to go until the Paralympics as well. And a huge announcement yesterday that Channel 7, who have the rights for the Olympics, also now will be showing the Paralympics 14 hours a day uh, coverage. I wanted 24 hours a day. I said Kurt Fernley should be reading his book for the other 10 yeah, hours. It's, it's, He's happy to do it. Channel 7, what's going on? You can live stream it 24 hours a day. That is atrocious. But uh, no, anyway, they're heading in the right direction there and great works are very, very exciting. And Mossy, we can reveal now, you and I are uh, very, very keen to get over to Rio. The, get, the hashtag Get Mossy and Robbo to Rio is uh, something we want to push hard. So get out on Twitter, throw that out right now and uh, get behind us and it's going to be a great campaign. Mossy, what? it's a 500-day campaign. Absolutely. And I'll tell you what, Robbo, one of the warm-ups to Rio is the World Youth Championships. Yep. It's on in Cali, Colombia. That's and, right. Uh, this week... They were named. The uh, 22 athletes named in the squad to go over. Yeah, all 22 of them. Look, it was exciting. Uh, a lot of them got auto qualifiers there at the Junior Nationals only uh, a couple of weeks ago. But here we go. A couple of the, the youngsters I managed to have a catch up with late last year. Jordan Shelley, Louis Stenmark, and they're just one of the 22. And a huge congratulations to everyone who's been named. And Mossy, I don't think we're going over there just to participate. We're going over there to bag some medals. I expect the likes of Hale, we're Shelley, going. Harrigan. Uh, well, mate, we can push for that as well. Get That's Mossy another. Robo to Cali. Cali. <laughs> and it's, it's pronounced Carly as well, oh, I'm told. So. Well, it depends where you're from. It depends where you're from. But yeah, Carly in Colombia. I heard they can actually select another four to go. And what I was thinking is possibly Mossy, Robbo, Ollie, Worm. and Lynchy. Lynch, there you go. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Well, a, yeah, we'll see what happens this week. Uh, the selection window hasn't quite closed, so we'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed for that one. Mossy, another thing you might have seen uh, down there in Melbourne. Well, the cords. The cords have been out this year. It's a little campaign you might have seen on social media. That, the hashtag cords out 2015 and uh, Luke Matthews is behind it Brett Robinson Guy Walters has a little bit to do with it as well and here's what we uh, we found at the start of the men's 5,000 metre national champs looks like yellow is the popular colour to wear this year for the 5,000 metre boys a few Nike fans out there I think see some cords out as well one of the in so very exciting for the Cords Out crew there, Mossy, and uh, one of their own getting the win here in a very stylish finish. What did you make of that? Well, look, mate, everyone has their own way of doing it. What I thought would have been great is if he stopped and then Benny Say had dipped him at the line. That would have been pretty sensational stuff. With the Cords in. 
yeah, cords in, could have beaten cords out because Benny Saint didn't have them out from uh, memory. Absolutely. So. Now, mate, so I had a chance a few weeks ago to jump in the car with an absolute legend of Australian athletics. Uh, at 16 years of age, she won her first of seven national titles so far. Uh, we know she'll probably win uh, consistently another five or six, who knows. Um, but yeah, jumped in the car with a legendary hurdler. Her name is Loza Wells. And uh, here's how in the car with Mossy with Loz went. Wells in the car with Mossy. Check her out. Hello. Let's go back in time. We started well, <laughs> athletics five years of age. The North Canberra. Yeah, race club, corroboree. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I I'm not even sure what made me want to do little athletics. Yep. Um, as I said, you know, my brother and I were quite sporty growing up, and my parents, Kerry and Neil, were and still are huge supporters of us and. They were never the pushy parent type, you know, they let us decide what sports we wanted to do and yep. um, I did every sport under the sun and I guess looking back now when people say, oh, why did you choose athletics? I think it chose me in the end, but it sort of came down to athletics or basketball for me, but, you know, tried hockey, tried tennis, tried swimming, netball, yeah. a lot of other sports and whilst I enjoyed them, I think deep down it's the individual aspect that gets me yeah, uh, right. and I like to be accountable for my own results and I would sometimes get a bit frustrated if you know we won a basketball game but three of the five girls didn't really contribute and you know sort of carrying the team a little bit yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think um yeah I was probably always destined for an individual sport like athletics 400 <laughs> meter hurdles and we watched yesterday and the camera was focused on the whole field at the end Where's the enjoyment come? Like seriously, <laughs> you're at the end, you're completely lacking, everyone's collapsed on the ground. Yeah, I think in our own sick, weird way, that is our enjoyment. I don't yep. know. At the time, it doesn't obviously feel great when you can't really move your legs. Oh. So home life, uh, married, Heath, yeah. yeah? Who cooks? Uh, mostly me, yeah. um, but he's... He's a really good cook too. Yeah. Oh, so you're a good cook. You're backing yourself there. As no, well. no. I was just saying. <laughs> as always, I like to ask people about their favourite tunes, mm -hmm. music-wise. What are you into? Um, I don't know. I'll, I guess a range. Um, at the moment, um, I sort of just got into Pandora, which I know I'm a bit late on the scene, but hey. <laughs> um, so at the moment, Sam Smith is my channel on Pandora. Um, and then that sort of flows into a bit of Ed Sheeran and um, yeah, I think it'd be funny to have cameras like these in the car when I'm driving so <laughs> I don't mind belting out a bit of a tune to them. Yeah. I like to sort of have songs on that I can sing a bit to sing and I'm, no, I'm, I'm certainly not a good singer but... Um, Everyone says that all of a sudden they belt out tunes. But also um, I'll give a quick shout out to um, Bicipital Groove, who is otherwise known as Brennan Cole, oh, um, who yeah has uh, provided me with some excellent tunes of his over the years. Bit of uh, bit of tech music, yeah. bit of house. Um, so yeah, I think the range the range is a bit broad. So there you go, Robbo, a little bit of uh, tunes there she talked about as well. Yes, and uh, a big shout out to uh, Loz's parents as well. Uh, Neil and Kerry, and we've seen a nice little photo here after the win that Loz got with the qualifier, the best round down I've ever seen in, in world athletics, Mossy. Um, it was about three seconds, wasn't it? I, I think it was, <laughs> yeah, 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 and it was cool by Oli Oh, Ah, perfect. He's got a lot of sway, old Oli. That's the time we want to see. 56-27 for Lauren Wells. Oh, so close goodness. once again. Oh, my goodness, and that must be shattering for Lauren. 56-20 is the time she needs. But 56-27 unofficially for Lauren Wells. I wish they could round it down to 56 one nine, but I don't think that's going to happen, <laughs> Rossi. Well, it's not official yet, so let's find out what it is. Boys, downstairs, officially 56-19 for Lauren Wells. Oh, yeah! She's got it. She's got it. Unbelievable. Well, you said it, all. You 56 said it. 56-19 on the board. 19. Let's have a chat with her. You're kidding. Let's get official confirmation of that. But if that's done it, Laura Wells has just qualified for the World Championships in Beijing. 
Robbo's waving the red flag, I can tell you, as we just see on the screen. Oh, she's done it! 56-19. 56 oh, she can't believe it. Oh, my there God. There she goes. Yeah. 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 Whoever's rounded that down, genius. What a genius. Well, it's oh, only worth suggestion, boys. Wow. They've listened to my suggestion she's now. Very, he's a big that's player a, in Victoria. That's a big Ollie. round down. That's one of the biggest round downs I've ever seen. I've never seen no. a 0.8 round down. She doesn't even know. I had to tell her. Yeah, mate, uh, every week we ask you to come up with your run, jump, chuck of the week. Tough, tough, tough going, because this week there's so much stuff out there. But uh, something had to rise to the top of the crop, mate. Relatively easy, Mossy, actually. I saw this one pop up on Instagram. Uh, you might need a few looks at it, but uh, look at the approach here, the unique approach to the hurdles. Uh, can't go over them, can't go around them. Well, let's just go through the bloody things. Yeah. And so smashing them with the shin, and uh, I've already seen Ben Kongbat. Well, he's threatened to, to take the shin pads up to Brisbane this weekend and use this approach. And why run over them if you can just smash through every single one? Um, it makes it a lot easier and a clear run to the finish line. I don't have a problem with it at all. I think it's a great uh, concept. You know, there's 10 hurdles out there. Why jump over all of them? You can maybe jump over two or three. Hey, I'm Jack Howe, and you're watching Run, Jump, Chuck. Well, now this weekend, mate, the Nationals, they're coming up up there in Brisbane. I'm heading up tomorrow. Unfortunately, you won't be there with us, but you will be there in spirit, mate. Uh, plenty of running, jumping and chucking. What's caught your eye? Yeah. Well, mate, I'm, as you said, I'm going to have to sit this one out. I'm having a baby, or my wife is, so, uh, and we're not live streaming that. I know there's been a bit of call on social media for that, but uh, no, nah, it's going to be great to tune in and, and follow all the action from QSAC, and isn't that a great place uh, up there at the old QSAC in Brisbane? But Mossy, it's, it's very hard to pick. It's four days of action. It's already got underway. Uh, and where do we start? Well, let's R start with the running. Run. So what, what, are you, what are you looking at? Well, the middle distance, as I, as I gravitate towards often, men's and women's 800 metres, I'd go for those two events alone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd, you know, that, they're going to be absolutely uh, sensational. Roe Risley, uh, Ralph, see how he can go. He's the defending national champ, let's not forget. And then Brittany McGowan. Can she lead the charge to maybe a sub two? Please, we want a, a sub, sub two. Sub two, we'd love to see that. Uh, anyway, we'll see that we need to get some qualifiers on the board. I just want to see some people booking their places for Beijing yeah. and uh, and getting the little Chinese flag and uh, getting getting set for that as well. Um, for mate, me, can I, for yeah, me, go. mate, the women's four is an absolute yeah. thrill after Gulli took down last weekend and, and Annalise Ruby, who dropped back to the four after doing eights. That one's really open. Sergeant Mitchell, throw them in there. That's sensational. Well, well Ruby's the only one that hasn't won on the tour, yet yeah. she's got the fastest seed time going into it Absolutely. all, so that's going to be a cracker. And you mentioned there Jeff Risley. Is he going to be the first since Simon Doyle back in 1991? That's 24 years ago, mate, to do the 800-1500 double. I'm sure Ryan Gregson will have something to say about that, the current national record holder of the 15. And you've also got Alex Rowe in the 800. You know, We might even see records tumble. Yeah, and look, and I'm surprised if we don't see automatic qualifiers, Pearson, uh, Wells, now that she's got that, they've just got to get their win along with their other qualifiers. Mel Breen, can she do something special? Can she, uh, she's already got qualifiers there, can she come out on top uh, in the women's 100 metres, get that win over Sal Pearson? So, we can look, go through every event, could it's we? It's going to be sensational. Yeah, what, what about in the jumping? I mean, for me, mate, Brandon Stark, he's jumped yep. 230, so I reckon he's got at least a 274 in him, yep. um, which would take down the, the world record. A women's high jump, uh, Eleanor Patterson, well, she'll be there. Can she jump two metres, take a national record? But Hannah Joy, we've seen her come into some form. She won down in Melbourne last weekend. Can she just get those extra few centimetres, 194? That's going to be very, very exciting. What about the horizontal jumps, Mossy? I know you love them. Yeah, well, I've been saying it all year, but, uh, yeah, Brooke Stratton, defending champion. I think she'll go back-to-back -back again. Um, you know, can we push those other girls over, Chelsea? Yeah, she's just a little bit further. Come on, I want to see you go. Jess Penny starting to find her form that we know from her going to Glasgow last year so that's going to be great you've also got Robbie Crowther yeah. Henry Fone Fabrice Lapierre it is just and sensation and Angus Gould Angus, last week he's come from nowhere he scalped a lot of them well, he hasn't come from nowhere he's a gun jumper from the ACT but yeah he scalped um, some of the biggest names and a lot of medals there um, you know across university games Commonwealth games and also uh, world championships as well women's pole vault Mossy that could go anyway uh, Jamie Scroop I, I think she's a bit of a dark horse she's yeah, been right. just building nicely this year bronze medal last year at nationals but uh, Nina Kennedy or Alana Boyd if they can get the win well they're booked on that set 
seat to Beijing. And Nina Kennedy, wouldn't that be a story? Uh, 17 years old and she could, she could get that trip away to China. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? I mean, the thing is, too, that she, she's jumped that uh, 459. Haven't seen it since, so I'd be really interested to see how she can come up there. Queensland, Alana Boyd, home crowd. She's our current national record holder, defending champion as well. I'm expecting her to come out on top. And she didn't win last year, so she, that, that'll oh, be something, yes, that'll be something right. she wants Liz to Palmer correct. Last year, so, yeah, it'd be interesting Yeah, see how she goes. Chuck-wise, Mossy, well, that won't disappoint as well. Danny Samuels, we saw her PB last year in Melbourne at the Nationals. Can she do it again? Can she push out over the 68 mark? Can she get that national record from Daniela Costi? And that'd be unreal to see. Uh, Ruck, Danny in, listen, the, in listen, the men's. Listen, I'm sick of talking about about Costian's record. Oh, yeah. I've had enough. It's, it's My vocal cords don't want to do that anymore. My vibrations don't want it. So, Danny, come on. Throw it out there. Just launch the thing over 70 metres, will you? Javelin's going to be exciting. Uh, women's, as we've seen Kim Mickle earlier in the show, but the uh, Kath and Kim show, Kelsey in there as well, pushed all the way by the South African. Now, she's going to be not up for grabs in the national medals, but uh, with her in the comp, you know it's going to be big, and we saw that effect down there in Melbourne. Men's javelin uh, is going to be very exciting as well. Jared Bannister, national record holder, comes back into the fray. Uh, Hamish Peacock, Matty outson has been the one to beat in recent weeks as well. Uh, Mossy, so plenty to, uh, to get uh, look forward to. I don't know how you're going to cope uh, up there in the commentary box yourself. Um, I'm, I'm just trying really hard at the moment just to relax. And once I get rubbing next to Ollie Worm, then, uh, yeah, mate, I just can't hold back. So, yeah, it's going to be going to be awesome. Well, let's have a look at how you can catch it. And uh, the live stream will be going Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And there'll be more athletics than you can poke a stick at. Mossy you should also mention uh, in China, Guy Young. Uh, will be the host for the World Cross Country Championships this week. We've got a this weekend. We've got a full squad of 24 Aussie athletes, senior and junior athletes, uh, headed up. Jess Trengove's there, um, and Brett Robinson as well. A whole bunch of youngsters making their debut in the green and gold. So that's going to be exciting. We'll be cheering them on. There's a live stream link for that, which we'll share as well. Uh, Mossy, I'm going to need a lie down just to uh, get through all this. I don't mate, know how, how you cope. And it's only just beginning for you, mate. You've got uh, many <laughs> childbirth this weekend. Well, that's it's right. definitely going to be happening. Well, that'll be, that'll be the cords out moment that I'm looking forward to, the umbilical cord. That's so. right, that's right. Well, guys, that's all we've got time for this week, so tune in. Go to runjumpchuck.com if you want any more information. On behalf of Mossy and Robbo and the whole of the Run Jump Chuck production crew, which is Mossy and Robbo, we'd like to say <laughs> salute to you. And i tell you what, as an old man once said to me, Robbo, he said, athletics, it's a very simple sport. Run, jump, and chuck. chuck.